What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about the characteristics of mobile devices. So in this video, you will learn about the characteristics of various types of mobile devices, such as tablets, smartphones, wearable technology devices, e-readers, and GPS. Tablet. So a tablet computer commonly referred to as just simply a tablet is a mobile device typically with a mobile operating system and touchscreen display processing circuitry and a rechargeable battery in a single thin and flat package. The most common tablets on the market are the iPad Pro, Samsung Galaxy Tab S4, and the Microsoft Surface Pro. Most tablets usually have three common features. You have use of an iOS, Android, Windows 10 mobile or Chrome operating system, video camera enabled for video chat, stylus pen device for writing, keyboard and other devices attached using Bluetooth, limited or non-existent port and storage expansion options, apps installed or updated through the operating systems app store, such as the app store for iTunes or Apple, Google play for Android devices and the Microsoft store for Microsoft. And finally, the requirement for plenty of power, either by being plugged into an AC power or having most of the battery life remaining to update the operating system. Now on the side note here, Windows tablets with screens larger than eight inches, they typically run standard editions of Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. Smaller Windows tablets use Windows 10 mobile. Smartphones are a class of mobile phones and multi-purpose mobile computing devices. They are distinguished from feature phones by their storage hardware capabilities and extensive mobile operating systems which facilitate wider software, internet including web browsing over mobile broadband, and multimedia functionality including music, video, camera, and gaming. Alongside core phone functions such as voice calls and text messaging, smartphones typically use either Android or iOS operating systems, very few use Windows 10 mobile. Most apps that are available for tablets are also available for smartphones as well. Some of the differences between tablets and smartphones are as follows. You have wireless carriers provide operating system updates for Android phones, but Apple provides the operating system updates. Wireless carriers provide network specific updates for iPhones such as iOS, but Apple provides the operating system update. And phone carriers provide data only services to tablets and regular cellular voice calling is not available on all of them. Some tablet apps provide real-time voice communication via the data connection. Phablets. So a phablet is a class of mobile devices combining or straddling the size format of smartphones and tablets. Phablets feature large displays that complement screen intensive activity, such as mobile web browsing and multimedia viewing. The term phablet is usually in reference to a smartphone with a screen size of 5.5 inches or larger. Most feature quad HD or QHD, which is four times the pixels of HD, or they have HD resolution panels and some include stylus pens also worth noting some phablets also tend to include flash memory storage wearable technology devices so wearable technology is a smart electronic device or electronic device with a bunch of microcontrollers that is worn close to and are on the surface of the skin where they detect and transmit information concerning body signals such as vital signs and or ambient data and which allow in some cases intermediate biofeedback to the wearer. Examples of wearable technology are the Apple Watch and Fitbit fitness monitors. These devices connect to a smartphone via Bluetooth and can be charged in as little as 50 15 minutes. Wearable technology must be compatible with your device's operating system and features. Your device must have the Bluetooth enabled in order for your device to connect and sync to the wearable device. Another type of wearable device is a virtual reality headset. And this is a head mounted device that provides virtual reality for the wear. Virtual reality is computer simulations projected into a headset that covers the user's entire field of vision, creating a virtual world experience. And this is an example of a Samsung Gear VR virtual reality headset. You put these things on and you are quote unquote sent to the virtual reality world. 
Another type of wearable technology is augmented reality, which is an interactive experience of a real world environment where the objects that reside in the real world are enhanced by computer generated perceptual information. Augmented reality apps on smartphones and tablets generate images that are layered on top of real world images captured by the device's camera. Augmented reality can be defined as a system that fulfills three basic features, a combination of real and virtual worlds, real-time interaction, and accurate 3D registration of virtual and real objects. So these are similar to the goggles, except you would put the contraption on your face and you would see the computer simulated images being presented into the real world. So you could think of this as um, the Pokemon Go app that was the, all the rave about two or three years ago. Where people will hold up their phone and they'd be looking at a bus stop. The next thing you know, there's a Pokemon Go character sitting at the bus stop. That was augmented reality. E-reader. So an e-reader is a device designed as a convenient way to read e-books. It is similar in form factor to a tablet computer, but features electronic paper, also known as e-ink, rather than an LCD screen. This yields much longer battery life where the battery can last for several weeks and better readability, similar to that of paper even in sunlight. Low-end e-readers with monochrome screens do not display graphic designs well. Well, which limits their suitability for reading graphic novels or technical documents. Most e-readers are designed for a single function, which allows for them to be very compact and efficient. Popular e-readers are the Amazon Kindle and the Kobo Clara. E-readers that support EPUB and PDF formats are more suitable for graphically rich books. Here's an example of a classic e-reader. And finally, GPS. So the Global Positioning System, also known as GPS, it was originally called NavStar GPS. And this is a satellite based radio navigation system owned by the United States government and operated by the United States Space Force. It is one of the global navigation satellite systems that provides geolocation and time information to a GPS receiver anywhere on or near the Earth where there is an unobstructed line of sight to four or more GPS satellites. Standalone GPS devices such as TomTom Tom Go and Garmin, they provide turn-by-turn -turn navigation in vehicles. Most smartphones come equipped with GPS apps such as Apple Maps, Google Maps, and Waze to where standalone GPS units are not really needed unless a user wants a dedicated GPS unit with a large screen that provides less distractions. One downside to a standalone GPS device is is the need to keep the maps updated. Map updates and standalone GPS devices are oftentimes a separate purchase and the user typically has to keep up with a subscription fee as well. GPS technology can be found in fitness trackers, sports apps, pet tracking collars, and in the medical mobile healthcare market. The internet of things has allowed for GPS technology to become easily integrated into a variety of objects such as tracking personal properties such as cars and drones. And here is an example of a TomTom Tom GPS unit. We all used to see these things back in the day. Present day, I rarely see people with these. Everybody's using their phone to get around. All right, so let's go ahead and do some check on learning, shall we? So the first question is, what type of display technology is most commonly found on e-readers? Is it LCD? Is it e-ink? Is it LED? Or is it e-note? Which type of display technology is most commonly found on e-readers? The correct answer is uh, e-ink. Stands for electronic ink, also known as electronic paper. That provides a screen most similar to physical ink and paper. Next question. What type of mobile device is primarily used to help track how many steps you walk during the day? Is it a smartphone? Is it a smart watch? Is it my fitness pal? Or is it a fitness monitor. So what type of mobile device is primarily used to help track your steps that you take during the day? The correct answer is a fitness monitor. Yes, you can use a smartwatch and you can use your smartphone. But the question asks, what is the device primarily used for? Fitness monitor is primarily used to track your steps. Final question. 
Which type of technology device provides information about your location and can be used to navigate to a particular destination? Is it GPS? Is it e-readers? Is it headset? Or is it smart camera? Which type of technology provides info about your location and can help you navigate? The correct answer is GPS is the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So in summary, we have talked about various types of mobile devices such as tablets, smartphones, wearable technology, e-readers and GPS. For more information, please visit my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest that help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 220 1001 exam. Also, if you felt like you got something beneficial from this, please like, share and subscribe to this channel and also drop a comment below. But most importantly, go visit my website, Technology g.com so you can get it cracking out there all right and until next video ladies and gentlemen peace